stick bass and took the cover off and started playing it and sort of... Or something, you know, I probably showed her something on the bass and she thought, that's a... Um, I had a friend who showed me some signs in the pub and I was like, whoa! <laughs> Fiddly Cube, so uh, we can expect uh, it to take a little bit longer than the world record, which is about 5.5 seconds, I believe, at the moment. Colour of life, the pipe. The pipe was called Colour of life. Give back to the older people. They should actually give them free things over the age of 60. Free gas, free water, free electric. Fire engine. Um, yes, you can forget all the old uh, wooden bandages idea where red and white's concerned. The way that it reverses the damage done when you put the first piece in. Which you fall when you pop tape is called your mechanics. Obviously, later on in the design, towards the end, uh, the finishing, these pop tape and obviously the foam won't be visible. Baking pasta, you want it to last a little bit longer and you're not using it straight away, just a little bit of oil in it, rub it around and the clear, <laughs> clear film it should make your like, pasta stay fresher and last longer in the fridge. Come on. In your, um, in your water, in your vase, you how much? Like just a little, little bit, so that's a top tip. <laughs> that's a pretty good one. Moves. One, one, as you put the next piece in, it reciprocates. The, the mix-up done by the, the previous move, as it were. I have rheumatoid arthritis, but I had an operation on my foot last Monday uh, for bunions. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and well, I guess it, it hasn't—it hasn't been difficult adapting to two sticks because I normally use one. And um, but it is—it's being balanced and it's getting in a rhythm. Best way to walk on crutches, and you always go forward with—you know—with. Well, I go forward with the, with the bad foot. I've always got a good foot still on the ground. Get a really, really early to the best spot. Best spot. Yeah. Why is this a good spot? Because it all interlocks, like you have to that way, that way, and that way. Ah, okay, yeah. very good. Your top tip? Uh, just warm, because you're, you're out all day and freezing cold. I have seven t shirts on. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Wear fingerless gloves if you're playing guitar too, because your hands get freezing. Yeah. I've took mine off, but I do have some. Yeah. It's the passion. It's really simple. It's never too late. Whatever it is you like to do, don't put off things and think, well, I've learned to do that some other time, but the time is now, so you've just got to think. You know, you've got to resonate with... Find the right approach, the right key. Tell you forward, haven't you? Think something, you know, you've got to think about it, take a step back and look at it. Not just pile in and rip it apart. Have a look and see what the problem is. See what the problem is and then ask the people who have been using it to see what the problem is. Find out of them, find out what it is, and then you can have a look at where it is and find out exactly where it is. Come on. Um, what is the key? Well, for, for me the key was locking myself in my bedroom for three months when I was a teenager. Hello, um, I've got the same. And my name is the name me. It's the word of Christopher. The name me. I, I, I'll go into the actual hands first. Right, so when you play, when you're playing basic shoulder, what, you shuffle your cards up. It's important to have a block at the bottom because that could you could see what that card did. Could... This particular sourdough, uh, for anybody that knows it, is with a starter. 
it's wild yeast that goes into it. This particular star that this comes from is from when I worked in France. I've had it for 10 years now and uh, and the bakery that, that had it, they've, they've had it for 40 years, so it's 50 years old as a star. I, I, I deal with a lot of people that like actually do live alone and it's very, very hard to, to get people um, to have a conversation with you. A lot of people seem to shy away from you because you're the younger generation. Um, but once you know, you said hello, a lot of people ignore you. But I would have a policy of going back and saying hello again, you know, because I, I need to reach these people and, and let them know why we're actually here. Bars from a car boot sale for about 50p, 75p or a pound, and then I spray it up with car spray paint. And then what you do, you just add your own 10 9 to beat me, which oh, you would destroy me, you would have the flush. I would have lost a lot of chips at that hand. <laughs> As you put one corner piece in, what what that mixes up, when you put another corner piece in, you, you do it in such a way that it reverses the damage done. This is, it means kind of like, I'm overwhelmed, but there isn't, there's not a direct translation of that. Think about things you want to do in the future, rather than just acting because you don't know what's around the corner. Uh, okay, uh, here we have... Uh some kind of vintage 1970s puzzle, puzzle called the Astro Logic, uh, which I'm going to unbox for us in some style today. You've got your stick. Now, you can't fasten it together like that because there's nothing to fasten it, so I'm going to have to have a shorter handle. The pain of loss, it took its toll. There was no comfort for me. It put me in the corner and fast emotions were stuck. And say, look, enough is enough. Because the working man is no further forward now than what we were in Oliver Cromwell's it's days. It's like 1920s, this cloth cap attitude. You know, when the also. working man, the working man, and uh, with the pitch shooting. I mean, what do we do, mate? Steel industry, coal industry, car industry, just all goes abroad. Now, hopefully, without damaging the packaging, seeing as though it's vintage, it would be a shame to damage the packaging. What you're good at and try to act on them rather than just, as I said, doing what your friends are doing, the individual. Um, what are you, what's your ambition? To become a scientist. I think I'm really good at understanding people's problems. Really good. Probably come from um, lots of life experiences and lots of loss and. Each thing's a tragedy, but eventually it's a benefit because it gives you something you didn't have before. In what? Tell us about that. Um, basically, I want to like uh, make cures for things, for diseases. Um, so I need to go to college and university, and then eventually plan on going to a lab. Someone's fixed it with parcel tape. That's no good. I'll show you how to fix it properly. What you need is a Stanley knife and some cable ties. First of all, let's get rid of this old repair. That's it, clean off. Take it off like that, put that to one side. That's 
I, I would genuinely, genuinely class this as virtually, virtually on a par with, with the love I have for my wife and that is a true passion, it's more than just a like for me, it is a true passion. Um, In order, what would you do? Uh, tip number one is keep growing it, don't cut it. Uh, tip number two is look after it, so shampoo and condition it. Um, bit of a facial massage. Now just be polite, enthusiastic, That's get it. to the point, yeah. you know, don't mess about too much. And yeah, you know, big smiles, all that kind of stuff, you know, yeah, happy go lucky, <laughs> all the rest of it. <laughs> Work hard, eat healthy, <laughs> and look at, look work for what you want and never friends. be too greedy. Ah, oh, they're good. In life. Yeah. It's all about the balance, isn't it? The best tip for selling chickens is practice on your chicken noise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't know. Do you do a chicken noise before you sell them then? I do, yeah. What? I shout roast chickens for a pound and then I go, <laughs> wait. And does that work? It does, yeah. So, <laughs> To time. How many how many chickens do you sell in a day? Roughly, I sell around 120 chickens a day. <laughs> There's always that idiot in who walks past. Dave Parkey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you tilt your glass first until you've got a little head on it, and then you tilt the glass so it's upright, and then I always move it up and down to make sure you get the right head, and then you let the head spill out until you've got about that much head on it. Would you, yeah, that's all. Is that it? Yeah. Perfect. Then you charge it £3.30. <laughs> £3.30? Yeah. It's a cudgel, it's a cudgel. 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 It's a What's good about being with me? Good in here. See? It's good, isn't it? What do you do together? Where do you go? Shops? What else do you do? The what? I go swimming. Swimming? Do you? Yeah. What's the top tip about swimming? <laughs> Don't drown. <laughs> My top tip in life is if you fail first, just keep on trying and eventually you'll succeed. And have you got an example of when that's happened to you? Uh, like, I got sacked from my job and I'm looking for a job. I got offered a job, so I'm back in work now, guys. It's a wrap. <laughs> The, the, the key is, is to just realise that it's not actually as difficult as you first imagine. Um, you know, it, 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 it's just a simple set of rules, really, that you follow to, to solve it. You turn. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Just, just running. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, man. Top tips of buskin, that is what you need. Stay warm and happy, then you will succeed.